Today we have a special arrest. Uh, I mean guest. Meng Wenzhou. The mighty Meng Wenzhou. The CEO's daughter of Huawei. She's decided to make an appearance in my video while she's on house arrest. Everyone, Meng Wenzhou. Meng Wenzhou. Today I want to talk about the UK government's decision to ban Huawei from the UK's mobile phone 5G rollout. Uh, apparently I've been tricked. It's not really Meng Wenzhou. It's Lee, son embarrassed, pretending to be Meng Wenzhou. My gosh, you got me, man. You got me. So yesterday, the UK government um, reversed a decision to allow Huawei um, into their network. The government agrees with the National Cybersecurity Centre's advice. The best way to secure our networks is for operators to stop using new affected Huawei equipment to build the UK's future 5G networks. So to be clear, from the end of this year, telecoms operators must not buy any 5G equipment from Huawei. And once the telecom security bill is passed, it will be illegal for them to do so. Now that's one smart man right there. I'm happy to see that the UK is actually seeing through this BS. Huawei are owned by the Chinese government. I agree, and I am glad you do too, because everyone knows that Huawei is owned by the CCP. So I'm happy that you know it, and now everyone else does too. Very good. This is not a fact at all, and I think there's, there's a lot of evidence to show that um, Huawei are not actually owned by the Chinese government. Are you on drugs? You can't be serious. You seriously believe, seriously, that Huawei isn't owned by the CCP, even though the CEO was a military member of the CCP. You're not a little skeptical? Not even slightly? Don't you see how obvious that is? Okay, settle down, Satan. But just one question if Huawei isn't owned by the Chinese government, how come every time Huawei has an internet has an international issue, the government just oh, I don't know, seems to step in and defend them at just this ever greater cost. You don't see like the American government jumping in and defending Apple until the death. Like they're just not gonna do that. They don't care to do that. We actually have separation between our companies and our government, right? And then all of a sudden there's some speech happening by the government. Why is the government speaking for Huawei? Why isn't it a Huawei official? Why is it a government official? And not only that, this isn't just some like random smuck that they picked up off the street and they were like, yeah, just go ahead and talk, okay? This is Hua Chunyin, okay? This is a big government official in the sense that they're the director of the Foreign Ministry of Information for China. Okay, so this is a big deal for this person to come out and speak on behalf of Huawei. Think about that. But no, no. The government doesn't own Huawei. It just speaks for them every time there's an issue. I wonder why. They are in fact owned by the people that work there. <laughs> you mean the CCP members? Is, is that, is that are those the members you're talking about? There's a law that the... Um, Chinese companies uh, have to give over um, sort of information to the Chinese government if they're asked. Now, that may be true. Sort of information. No, you mean there is a law that the CCP made that says when the CCP requests, and not really requests, we're more like tells you, a company must, not sort of give, must give this information. 
you can see even Lee Sun Embarrassed here in this video kind of struggles with this part. He struggles to say it because he knows that it is insanely horrible when a government can just go to a company, steal all the information that this technology company collects. Keep in mind, this is a technology company and these devices keep all of our information nowadays. Uh, Huawei, we're talking about phones and tablets and computers, which is pretty much the place that all the information is collected in the world. A government can go to a technology company and just forcefully take the information. And again, you can see how Lee Sun Embarrassed here struggles to say this because he realizes and he knows in the back of his mind that this is some BS. This is some BS, but he's gonna shill really hard and try to get it out there anyways. What a loser. Oh, it's, it's great that Huawei have been banned from the UK because we don't want a Chinese company um, getting our data. They don't want anyone stealing their data. Anyone, especially a country that builds military bases out in the middle of the ocean and tells everyone that it's their land and that they own all the water around it. What do you not see here? Do you not see the problem? What about the simple fact that China and India just had people shoot each other? They shot each other over land disputes, over a line, okay? And then all of a sudden you think that, well, pff, why do they keep doing this to China? Oh, I don't know. How about because it's a communist regime? That's why. How are you so blind? How are you so blind? Huawei are a hardware vendor. They have nothing to do with the data at all. How can you say Huawei is only a hardware vendor? You seriously think they don't have any control over any software. When Google banned them from using Android, what did they do? They built their own OS, their own operating system. How did they do that if they don't have any software developers? Again, the point stands. If the CCP tells them to send information, Huawei will send the information. Okay, and Huawei will collect lots and lots of information. So again, I, I, I think it's a big misunderstanding that, um, you know, that, that, that the Chinese government be, could be stealing uh, data. China are, are, are hacking into systems all around the world. I'm sure they, they, they may be. <gasps> China hacking into other country systems? China would never do such a horrible thing. How can you make such a horrible accusation against the country of China? Everyone knows that China is peaceful and would never do such a thing. But equally, um, every country around the world is hacking into each of the systems. My gosh, just so embarrassing. No one ever said that other countries didn't hack. But I like how you said maybe, maybe China hacks. Of course they do. Of course they do. But at the end of the day, there's mountains and mountains and mountains of evidence against this. And this is another thing that Lee realizes that is really embarrassing, right? Because he has to admit that China does in fact hack other countries, but he knows that it's risky and he can feel it. And that's why he struggles to say this and has to throw in the maybe, well, maybe they do it. Obviously they do it. It's very naive to think that this is something that, that all countries are, are not up to, you know, and, and that it's only China that do this because that's just that's just a, a fallacy really oh such an embarrassment this guy this guy he is dreaming he thinks all of his shilling for CCP and Huawei is somehow gonna like make him a better person that it's gonna help him it's seriously sad all I really think this is is the wrong decision to make I think they've they've made a very political decision. I think it's it's under pressure for, from the U.S. and I think ultimately um, the U.K. will regret the decision they've made. Although obviously they will never admit that, but 
yeah, that, that's my conclusion and, and my opinion on it. Anyway, for now, if you, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps us get out there and get the message to more people. Prime in China, like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Patreon, where you can see videos a week to two weeks early release. Don't forget, Shill Wednesday, where I debunk and embarrass all of these shills that continue making videos. And then Serious Sunday, where I'm going to take a serious video and, and uh, you know, actually be a little more serious about the subject. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope to see you in the comment sections, and have a good day.